I'm doing this after I put my kids to bed because for me it's just the easiest time to do it without any interruptions or anything like that. And today I'm going to be trying some new tape and extensions sent to me from the brand Vin Hair. I really love their packaging and I have collaborated with a few brands in the past but this one really caught my eye as I was browsing through their website looking through their products. Their website looked very professional but very easy to follow and it sounded like they had really good quality hair for a good price. They did ship from overseas, but they came very fast. I don't know if it's because I'm, this is a collaboration. So if you order from them, I'm not 100% sure. I can't speak as a consumer. I'm speaking more so from a collaboration standpoint, but working with them has been great. They've been very effective at communicating and quickly communicating, so I haven't had any issues there. And I've tried many different types of tape and extensions, and I do really love their packaging. I like that it comes in this small round box. It has all of their information, their socials, all of that that you can find on here. It looks like they took the time to really develop up their brand so I love that and it says 100% cuticle intact human hair so I'm really hoping that this is going to be really good hair but I have heard even Bellamy hair which is really really expensive that it doesn't last as long as it says on the website so people think it'll last for like a good couple years but somebody that was watching on TikTok she was saying that at most it will last like up to a year and then kind of gets dry and all of that so I'll keep you guys updated on the hair today it's just mainly how I apply it, the technique that I use, the method, all of that and kind of like a before and after and then also I really wanted to share about this brand because I'm always on the lookout for a good tape and extension brand and what caught my eye was their narrow tape in so I'm gonna take them out of the packaging, you open it up, it came in a little baggie like this and then the actual extensions are in a hair nut and these are the narrow tape and extensions, it has the batch number on it as well as what this is so this is 18 inches number seven how many grams per piece and how many grams you're getting all together so it's 20 pieces 2.2 grams usually each pack is about 50 grams so i'm using maybe 75 grams of hair well maybe less and i got the color number seven which is light ash brown which is a pretty good match i'm really excited about that and it does seem like it has pretty good thickness to the ends like, you know sometimes you'll get extensions and they don't they like really thin out the ends naturally all of them will but this one seems you know pretty good and these are narrow tapements so that was what really caught my eye so I don't know if you can tell but this actual tape portion here it is very very narrow you do have the entire tape in the back that's the usual size but what is exposed and is going to show underneath your hair like the actual PU portion is very narrow so your typical tape and extensions let me actually grab one because I have some left over oh shoot I don't usually you see this shiny Piece right here there we go you can see it right there it usually goes all the way down to here so then if your hair blows out of the way you can see like the shiny piece of plastic almost and it's like this wide these are called narrow tape ends so this portion is very very narrow so I saw this and I've never seen anything like this on any other website they do also have a traditional tape ends as well as I believe the injection tape ends where like the hair is overlaid on top and then they also have other extension methods as well but these caught my eye the most so these are the ones I'm going to be using in today's video so I will leave all the information for the website down below if you guys want to browse through as well and I believe for this pack it was like it was definitely under a hundred dollars for sure which is a really really good price considering they are 100% um, cuticle intact, you know, human hair. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on the quality. But I drew a little diagram here. I drew two. One of them I kind of messed up was this one that I want to show you guys. So when it comes to placement, I'm going to be doing three rows. If you have very thick hair, you're probably going to need like four or five rows. I don't need that many. And then a rule of thumb when placing the tape ends is you want it two finger widths away from your hairline. So what I mean by that is when you're going to be applying the tapes, you want it to be like, here's my hairline don't place it any closer than two finger widths away so the last one should be like right about here same thing with in the back here measure two finger widths away and then place that first row two finger widths away from your hairline at the base here because if you don't and let's say you want to put your hair up you're not going to be able to because they're going to be exposed so it's just like a good rule of thumb to have two finger widths away at minimum away from the hairline at any point of your hairline including right here you don't want it any closer than this go back to my little diagram here for the first row I'm gonna do three sandwiches and then I do a second row and this one I'm gonna do four and then for the third row I don't know if I'm gonna do four or three and then on the sides here this is gonna be in the front right here 
it says half because I'm going to be doing half sandwiches. So what I mean by that is I'm going to cut these in half and I'm going to create a half sandwich here and one here. And I've just found that works best for my hair. That's all that I need, especially as I have like curtain bangs here that are growing out from actual bangs. So I don't need too much hair, just like a little bit to fill it in and it will make a big difference. If you have more hair than I do, then you might need a lot more but this is just a diagram of where I'm going to be placing them. One very very important thing when it comes to applying tape-ins is you want to make sure that you have a very clean part and each part is going to be a u-shape. I eyeball it first with my fingernails and I'll start here and I swoop down meet them in the back and create kind of like a very small u horse shoe shape. I want to make sure that I have enough hair to cover because I do like to put my hair up in ponytails and stuff so I want a pretty like my hair's already fine and then but I want enough hair to be able to cover it. So I'll do that and then I kind of loosely clip this up and I'm going to work on making this part as clean as possible. So I don't know if you can tell I have a mirror here and then I also have a mirror here in front of me. So I use it to be able to see behind me because otherwise if you're doing this yourself there's no other way to do it. You need to have two mirrors so that when you're looking in the one in front of you you can see exactly what's happening behind you. And it really helps to have a light like this. I'm not going to turn it on right now because it's going to glare into the camera. But it helps to have the light behind you. That way the light shines on the back of your head. So when you look in the mirror, you can see exactly what is happening. So I hope that makes sense. So I have my rat tail comb here. And I'm going to work on creating a very clean part. This is very, very crucial when I'm doing your own tapings at home. And I'll explain why when I turn around. This is my first part. As you can tell, it kind of goes in a very mild U shape like so. The reason why I say it is very, very important to have a clean part is because when you are applying the tapes, you don't want any hair getting caught in between that might pull unnecessary tension, just not good. You want as clean of a part as possible. Like This is a very, very, very important step. I actually love this concept. This might be even better than the injection tapins because the injection tapins can be bulky but with the narrow tapins the top is not bulky because it's tied down by this little PU section PU meaning poly whatever this material is like this plastic but it's so narrow that is absolutely amazing before I go ahead and apply them I'm going to use these hair grippers that I got off of Amazon and I'm going to get any loose hair out of the way and I'm going to start off with one right in the center so I'm going to grab my little tape in piece here. I'm going to remove the backing to expose the sticky side. I'm going to start off in the middle here. And I like to place it a few millimeters, I want to say. I don't know if it's the right measurement. It keeps focusing on my face. But a few millimeters, millimeters away from my root. You do not want it right at the root because, again, it's going to be unnecessary tension. It's not going to be comfortable. I like to apply it a little ways away. You don't want it too far away where it looks like it grew out, but you do want some distance from the root so it's not creating unnecessary tension. So placing this one right in the middle, hold it down, and then grab that extension piece, lift it up, and as it lifts up, it will naturally lift your own hair with it underneath because your own hair is stuck to that sticky side. So lift that up. And then once again, take your rat tail comb and create a very clean part here as well. So get all of the hairs out of the way that, sh that are not stuck and make sure that this part is very, very clean. And then another thing that I wanted to add is you also want to make sure you don't have any hairs from here kind of going over because that is also going to create unnecessary tension. So get those hairs out of the way. Now I'm ready for my second part of the sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing to expose the sticky side and this one I'm going to hold upside down. I want the sticky side to be facing this and you're going to align it right on top. Make sure the edge is aligned and then press it down once it's aligned. Hold it for a few seconds and that is essentially the process of how I apply tape inside myself.
I finished all three rows. I wanted to show you guys the blend right now. This color match is insane. It is literally spot on. The last row is like right here. So if I had it any lower, I would have way too much of my own hair covering it. And you'd be able to see a lot of my own hair sitting right here. So it wouldn't be a good look. But this is perfect. So now I just got to work on the front. Because I don't have a lot of hair, naturally I feel like your hair is not as full in the front. So for here, I'm just going to do two half pieces, like sandwiches of half pieces. I'm going to grab an extension piece, fold it in half with the backing still on. Fold it in half so that the edges meet. And then I'm going to cut right down the middle. So I have two half pieces like this. So once again, you want to angle these this way. Clip this out of the way. And then just to work on creating a nice clean part. And this one I'm going to place right here. I could have done a whole piece here, honestly. I think I should. I'm going to take this off. So we have one whole sandwich. I'm going to do a half piece now. Probably like right here somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and replicate this exact same thing on this side. Here is the finished result. And one thing that I forgot to mention that is also very, very important is that when you are applying these, you want to make sure that you're starting off with clean hair because you don't want to wash your hair for at least 24 hours, anywhere from 24 to 48 hours because I made the mistake of washing my hair too soon and then they will all just slip out. Like The tape needs time to really adhere and hold together. So don't wash your hair for a good minimum 24 hours. So that's why you want to make sure you're starting off with clean hair. It looks like my own hair. Like the color, color wise, it looks like this is literally the same color as my hair. It is actually insane. So I used about a pack and maybe not even a quarter. So I probably have like maybe 60 to 70 grams, something like that. All right, you guys, it has been probably almost two weeks at this point having the extensions in and I wanted to give an update. I did trim them probably two inches. They were just a little bit too long and then I wanted them to have more of a blunt cut versus the wispier ends. Any extensions are going to naturally have wispiness to them on the ends. So I don't know, I just wanted more of a blunt cut. So far, so good. I feel like the extensions are of really, really nice quality. Like I'm not feeling any dryness in them at all whatsoever. Granted, I am taking care of them, which I did already film a tape and extension care video. The healing serum that I use makes a big difference, but these extensions, honestly, I am so hopeful for. <laughs> I will let you guys know definitely in the description box. You can't beat the price. I feel like because of the narrow tape, it conceals it so much better than having like that big, thick, wide piece of PU material or whatever that is. And this is on both sides. Like if you're sandwiching them together, it's gonna to be on both sides. So I don't know, I'm really hopeful for these. They're incredibly soft still, almost two weeks in, multiple washes, heat tools, all of that. Always on the lookout for a good hair extension brand and I'm really, really hopeful for these. So thank you again to Vin Hair for allowing me to try these and introducing me to this brand. And now I introduce you to this brand. So check them out in the description box down below. You can also buy these, take them to the salon, have them install that. One thing I wanted to know is that darker extensions always last better than bleached ones, just from personal experience. But these do say that they use, I believe, virgin hair. I can't deny or confirm. I have no idea I don't work for them, but I'm just going based off of their website. Anywho, yeah, check out the description box. Thanks for watching, and I really hope to see you guys in any future videos.